Hello friends and welcome. It's your boy Larth with Larth Media and today I am going to give my initial reaction to Doctor Strange into in the multiverse of madness. Uh 2022 directed by Sam Raimi. I was surprised at that. Um I was I was pleased to see the Bruce Campbell a cameo, but I didn't, I didn't even realize that Sam Raimi directed that movie. Um, I I know when they announced it, they said it was going to be a straight up horror movie, and eh, there are definitely horror elements in it. A lot of horror elements. I don't I don't really see it as a horror movie though. Scarlet Witch being a witch and all that, and she did some I don't know. There's some scary shit in that movie. Uh-oh, S-bomb. Um, let's, let's, let's stay on point here. Initial reaction is meh. It was like, it wasn't bad. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm texting with my friend right now and he said that he'd probably like it on, on repeat viewings. And I, I think I agree. Um, I don't know if I'll watch it again in the theater, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely give it a, another look like, you know, in the future, it was like, <laughs> do I want to talk about spoilers? I don't think I do. Um, if you like the first Dr. Strange movie, you'll probably like this one. And that one, that one, that one too, the, the first Doctor Strange movie was kind of, it had a bunch of cool visuals and, but it had just like a real standard boilerplate story. And this, I wouldn't say this is like a standard boilerplate story. They're doing something with, uh, with Scarlet Witch and yeah, I don't know her, her, her descent from from the events of uh, Infinity War, of course, and then WandaVision. Um, I just I just didn't really connect with it. Um, there's like, there's this book, and then there's that book, and this is the good book, and this is the bad book. And then she had the bad book, but then they destroyed it. And then she went to another place for some reason. And then yeah, it's, I don't know. I just had trouble following it along. Um, following, following along with it. Um, I, I don't know what else to say without going into spoilers. I mean, even like little details. I, I guess if I watched the trailer, I would know what was in the trailer and what isn't. I think I watched one trailer and like, okay, I'm going to watch it. Um... The last video like this that I did, it was the Batman, and it was it was in this very um, this very same parking stru structure at Regal Dole Can uh, Regal Dole Cannery uh, theaters in Honolulu, and that, I mean, if you watch the video, click the link right somewhere. Um, I was just blown away by that movie. And I, I didn't even really want to uh, record this video. And as it, as it is, I'm, you know, I'm a couple minutes in, I'm almost five minutes in, and I, I haven't really said much about the movie other than to say that it was all right. It was okay, it wasn't, it wasn't that freaking great. Um, that's supposed to be like, you know, this is May, Today's May 6th right now when I'm recording this. The beginning of May, that's supposed to be like Marvel's like tentpole, like their big movie. Um, their big movie of the summer. And the way I foresee it, I'm 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 guessing that uh Thor Love and Thunder is probably gonna be a bigger movie than this is. Um I saw something on YouTube and freaking YouTube it's it's hard to like even browse through the videos that I watch on YouTube without seeing something about a movie that came out 
but I saw one thing, like I was scrolling through, and I wasn't even looking for, you know, Doctor Strange content. And it said there, um, it showed a picture of, you know, the Doctor Strange, just an image. And it said, is it that bad? Question mark. And right away, that's like, I don't know. I, I think that primed me for this experience. <laughs> and again, it's not bad. It's... I just had trouble connecting with it. I had trouble connecting with the story. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know what else to say. I'm. I, I'm sorry. Without going into some kind of spoilers and details, maybe I'll make another video where I go into greater detail. Um, but this is my response. My response is meh. It was all right. Thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far into the video, even though I haven't really said much, um, Doctor Strange, should you go see it? Eh. Like I said, if you like the first one, you'll probably like this one. Um, video, uh, video, visuals, special effects. There's a lot of cool stuff in this movie, like especially in the second and third act. Um, but by that time, I was, I just was disconnected from the, from the movie. So like, I didn't really care. Now, if all this cool stuff was happening and, um, there's people walking around outside. If, if, um, if I was more engaged with the story, then when all this cool stuff started happening, I mean, there are a lot of cool horror elements in this movie. Not enough for me to call it a horror movie. There's some jump scares, which is not, you know, to quote Jay Bauman, a jump scare is not scary. It's startling. So, I mean, I, I was very skeptical about a, a horror movie in the MCU because I knew they're, they're only going to, they're only going to go so far with it in, you know, their more or less family friendly uh you know mcu tone there was a crying baby in the theater and like i don't know if you know people just are looking to watch a comic book movie um, but there's like all these horror elements and scary stuff going on and the baby's crying so like why did you take a baby to <laughs> what more or less is a horror movie anyway i'm rambling um that's it that's that's my initial reaction to um dr strange in the multiverse of madness it's about 6 p.m right now i got i got an earlier show and i can tell already this this freaking parking lot is filling up uh for for you know later viewings of this movie it's friday night opening weekend but yeah this has been larth with larth media i'm gonna get out of here Enjoy yourselves, love yourselves. Follow me on all your socials at Larth Media. I have a podcast on my YouTube channel and everywhere that audio podcasts are found. Uh, I have a URL for that. Uh, it's going to be Larth Media, Larth Media Podcast.buzzsprout.com. So you can keep up with everything I'm doing and listen and watch me ramble. That's it, out.